What's good guys, Siobhan here back with a new video. So guys, you, we're like a family, you know what I'm saying? Like, we have Android fans in the comment section, we have iPhone fans in the comment section, and y'all just are like And I was, I, I tried to be the peacemaker. So, one step in order to be the peacemaker, I changed to the Note 8. But while I was using this Note 8, and because obviously I don't really use Android, so I have to watch a lot of videos, I just realized how similar most of the features are of the Note 8 that the iPhone already had. And I was like, this video is basically asking you guys a question. Like, you guys said the Note 8 is the best phone in the entire world, right? You said the features are unmatched, Samsung is innovative, and what I'm leading to is that I want to know why Samsung stole Apple's features from its iPhone. I mean, I'll get started on that, but I just want to know why. Why they didn't like steal something from another competitor, like steal something from the Pixel, steal something from HTC, steal the squeeze, see? Google, stole, Google P Pixel stole the squeeze from another company. I just want to know why Samsung tends to steal the iPhone's features and try to make it best, but in reality, it always sucks. So the first thing I wanna talk about is Siri. And obviously we know that we also have Bixby on the Note 8 right here. So way back in October 4th, 2011, Apple came out with Siri. And that was for the iPhone 4S. Then on March 20th, 2017, Samsung came out with Bixby. And to be honest, it's still not turned on on my phone. I know Bixby is awesome. You could you could unlock Bixby with your voice. You could tell Bixby to, hey Bixby, open the Play Store. Download this, download that. But I'm just saying, well, why just don't use Google Assistant? Why, why does Samsung want to be so much like Apple? That's what I want to know. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Guys, please keep it friendly as possible because YouTube is demonetizing my videos. They're saying that the comment section is not advertiser friendly and you guys just need to keep calm. Friend, family channel, keep it PG. Don't roast anyone too much. You could roast me all you want, but please do not go after the people in the comment section, guys. Be as friendly as possible. So that's one question to you. Why, why does Samsung want to have their own voice assistants like Apple. The next thing I want to talk about is Touch ID or fingerprint scanner. Now I know tons of phone has this, but Apple could be called one of the first phones to actually have Touch ID and it, it came out way back. So way back in 2013, Apple came out with Touch ID for the iPhone 5S and the way it worked was you have the home button, you place your finger on it and it just works. In 2014, Samsung came out with the S5 and it had a fingerprint scanner, but it Anyways, before I was rudely interrupted, I said Samsung came with the S5 and they tried to use the fingerprint scanner, but it was just this disgusting way of unlocking the phone where you'd have to swipe down on the button and everyone hated it. They didn't have to do the swipe down gesture, but they wanted it to seem different. And they finally found out that that wasn't worth it. It wasn't working out. So they just did the normal touch and unlock gesture. As I said before, Samsung coupling Apple once more. Another thing they stole from Apple is live photos, but they now call it motion photos on the Note 8, I think. So yes, Apple came out with this thing called live photos where you take a picture and it takes multiple pictures before and multiple pictures after the actual picture. And then when you 3D touch on it, it will show like what happens. They could capture the moment and it just isn't a dead photo. That was with the success in 2015 and then March 2016, Samsung came with something called live motion where you take picture and it's basically the same thing as live photos as I said before once again Samsung is just why why are they taking stuff from Apple if they claim or you guys claim that they're the most innovative company and they have the best features I just want to know why why take Apple's stuff in Apple's the shitty company why not take something from Motorola like Motor mods or something. Why not take something from HEC? 
there's a lot of Android phones on the market. I'm just wondering why Samsung tends to try and take Apple stuff and to make it their own and much better. But in reality, it's always lacking something and it's just an extra feature on Android that is not at its full potential. And what I wanna have for you guys is back in June 13, 2016, when Apple launched iOS 10 with a bunch of new features, including live messages features and message effects and you could like handwrite stuff in the messages for iMessage. Then in August 2017, the Note 8 came out with something called Live Messages, I think. It's basically the same design, the same everything as iPhone, but obviously it doesn't work as seamless as iPhone, and it doesn't work and look the way how the Apple own looks. Now, obviously you could use the S Pen, it only works with the S Pen, so the Galaxy S8 doesn't have it, I think. But basically, it's just Samsung taking features from the iPhone again. And these questions are just posed onto you guys because I need answers. I need to know why the best phone in the world, the best company in the world is taking features from the shittiest company and the shittiest phone in the world. That's what I want to know. Last but not least, guys, in September 2016, Apple came out with dual face, dual rear cameras. And I know a lot of companies already had dual rear cameras, but what did these do? Some of them had the telephoto lens, but Apple said no. They're gonna work on something called portrait mode, right? And that was just for the iPhone. Everyone went hype about it. It was like something to get DSLR like photos with your smartphone. Now, in 2017, Samsung came with something called live focus. Why, why not use a telephoto lens why not use a, like just a wide angle lens you know like why do you have to take stuff from a shitty phone the phone is shitty the company is shitty why not come up with your own thing why not use one camera like the pixel in order to do what it does like make your software better optimize your software so it could work just like how the pixel 2 did it see pixel 2 waited they didn't want to look like an Apple, Apple copycat. So what they've done is that they've used software integration and work on engineered software that um, makes that live focus, as Samsung call it. And right now, the Pixel is looking way better than the iPhones. So I'm just saying, the time that Samsung is taking to copy Apple, they could have used that time to um, bring more features, do something different. Put something different on the market you know what i'm saying because if you as you guys said if the iphone is so shit why should the best company in the world take shit from the iphone and that's a question to you guys that's all i'm saying that's all for this video if you enjoyed drop a like on the video and to be honest guys i'm having a really fun time with this phone if you want me to do a second review on it let me know down because i have already done a review on this phone if you haven't seen that review i'll leave it on the end screen but yeah, I'm having a tons of fun with the Note 8. Um, honestly, I really miss iMessage and FaceTime. You guys just don't understand how... It's just iMessage. Everyone's already on it. It's fun. And just to text people, the green bubbles, it's just mad. <laughs> I don't know. To me, it's just crazy. Nobody wants to download Google Hangouts. Nobody wants to talk on Messenger. Everybody wants to use iPhone. And it's sad because that's the way I was grew up. Everyone had iPhones back in school and everything so it's just an iphone thing so um yeah that's the only thing i'm hating is the iMessage but it's not a big deal i know but yeah that's a question for you guys let me know down below why is samsung taking shit from iphone as always guys love peace and tweaks signing out